this morning. What an interesting wake up. You know, I got one of them new uh, fangled lift chairs sent to me by a company that wanted they want me to do a review on. And I like it. I've been using it. I've been sleeping in it. Well, I've been powering it by these little portable power banks. And I'm finding out that these portable, these solar portable power banks, if you get one of the small ones, they're junk. They're all junk. They don't last. And I had mine hooked up to one that was fully charged. Went to bed. I leave it on when I have the lift chair plugged in. In case I got to get up real quick, you know. They, things take forever. Well, the battery pack that died. So I'm stuck in the incline position, you know. Had to crawl out of that dude. So I woke up starting my day working on a like I'm working out on a jungle gym. So I'm going to have to run it. There is a power plug uh, right next to it, but I didn't, didn't really want to use it because I'd have to walk across it. Top 10 things that I have quit doing before I have reached the age of 60. These are some of the top 10. Not necessarily in order. Uh, but there's always something, you know, we don't do the same things we did when we're 50 that we did when we were 20, obviously. We don't think the same. We don't talk the same. We, we have different beliefs. Maybe not. I know that I am not the same person I was, and that's I think that's the way it's supposed to be. You're supposed to grow. Some people do the opposite, and they get worse. But you give up a lot of things you did when you were younger because you no longer like them, or you physically can't do them, or they're just, they weren't right. There's a whole list of reasons. So we're going to start with mine. Maybe you can compare if you've given these things up. So I will tell you what they are, and I will tell you my reasons. And if there is a reason, some of them are pretty much obvious. But here we go. Number 10, relying on others. Now that is something I've never really ever done anyway. I've always tried to take care of myself. Um, you know, I have never really dependent on others for support. But I really don't rely on others for anything anymore for much at all because people are undependable. Not saying all. But for the most part, it's easier just to do it, do it yourself, than to wait on somebody or depend on others. And if you don't know how to do something, we've got the biggest teacher in the world at our fingertips, YouTube it, get online. There is an answer somewhere to something you are trying to do. You may not do it right the first time, but do it again. And, uh, you know, you'll, you'll figure it out. I, I've learned how to do electrical work, plumbing, all of that simply by looking at videos, watching others do it. Now that's the nice thing about YouTube. You get to watch them do it. You can pause it. Say, okay, he's got this here. He's got that there. So, yes, quit relying on others as much as you can. If you, if you are medically able to take care of yourself, then do it. That is my recommendation. Did my microphone go out again? Okay. Yesterday I, I recorded a podcast and I, the microphone went off about halfway. Well, I didn't have my soundboard plugged in. Number nine of the top ten things I've given up since before I'm 60. Sports. I could care less about sports. I was never a fanatic, but I did watch Sunday football. A uh, little bit of baseball. I kind of find baseball a little bit too long and boring. But I've given it up. I've given it up because the generation of sports athletes today are woke. 
it's all political. I don't want to watch that nonsense, and I will not. And I've got better things to do with my time than to watch some spoiled ass athlete who gets paid millions of dollars uh, screw up or do good. I just I don't care anymore. I especially didn't care about the Olympics. Uh, I I had to spend an entire week in the hospital when I was ten in seventy six during the Olympics, and that was all that was on TV. It was either that or soap operas. And that was, there was only two soap operas because one of the channels was taken up at the Olympics. And I, that's all I watched all week. Won't do it again. I do like that curling, though, where they got that broom and they're throwing that big old chunk of ice. Yeah, and I think it's like ice bowling. I ain't figured it out, but I like watching them broom guys. And they're going nuts. One of them's going to have a heart I bet somebody's had a heart attack doing that. I must have. Number eight, TV and movies. Don't watch them. And if I watch anything on YouTube that's two hours long, it's a documentary or something like that. I don't watch movies. Something about getting older, you just know it's all BS. I don't enjoy them anymore. And they're not made for my generation. None of them are. Television. I haven't watched that in about 12 years. The commercials are disgusting. I don't want no part of those commercials. I don't want to see them. It's all drug commercials or propaganda or you never know what's going to pop up. And they, that's why I pay for YouTube premium. So I don't have to see them on anything else either. And that's basically about all I watch is YouTube. Get a sip of this coffee. And I have not been to a movie theater Ooh, I couldn't tell you the last movie I saw. It's been probably 25 years. And I don't miss it. Never, never, never enjoyed to going anywhere where there were crowds anyway. Number seven. This is here pretty recent. Eating bad foods. Everybody knows I'm on this carnivore lifestyle now. So I have known about what foods were bad for a long time. But getting off them and making the choice is a whole different ball game. And we should all think this way when we're younger. We won't have to deal with this issue when we're older. You know, 50 years ago, the only overweight people you really ever saw were older people that weren't, weren't able to exercise anymore. They're still cooking the way they, you know, they always cook and eating the way they always eight they just can't do the exercise and the activities to you know and that's the same today only worse because today's foods are much more fattening much worse number six stressing out i try not to let anything bother me anymore helps having my house and vehicles paid off i don't have to worry about the bills too much I don't make a lot, but what I make covers the bills I have. And then, um, you know, I won't lie, I'm usually pretty broke by the middle of the month. But everything is covered. I've used, you know, about all I have left to do is my weekly grocery shopping, which I've always managed to do. Went yesterday. Yeah, wasn't any issues. But went yesterday and got what I needed for a week, a little more than a week. So try not to stress. You can get to your. You have to get your life to that point. Uh, that is something to strive for when you're younger. Work to try to get your life less stressful, because later stress will kill you. Number five, saving money. <laughs> I don't think I've ever saved money, but I ain't worried about it now. What am I saving for? My future. I'm in my future. I ain't working anymore. So why save? I am in my future. I don't have enough to save. Maybe if my YouTube channel blows up and I'm raking in the cash, then I'll throw a little back. But I ain't throwing it back to die to leave to someone else. That's something I have never agreed with, is working all your life and leaving your money to your kids or your grandkids. That's what life insurance is for, which I don't have anyway. I canceled that. 
So that's number five. Number four, traveling. I don't go places anymore. Well, I'm pretty much tied down because I'm a critters. But I just don't have any desire to sit behind a, 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 the wheel of my car or my vehicle for hours at a time to go somewhere. Uh, a two-hour trip, three-hour trip, maybe. I just don't have time for it. And right now, I'm, it, I've been, I've, I've done my traveling when I was younger, a lot of it. So I kind of got that out of my system. So I don't do that. Number three, drinking. That's pretty recent too. February, last weekend, I'm not going to go through the calendar. Last weekend in February was the last time I had a drink. Haven't craved, haven't touched one since, haven't craved it, don't desire it, do not plan on ever drinking again. Maybe there might be an occasion where I have a beer or a drink with somebody, but as far as, I mean, you got to understand, living where I do, it's not easy to be a drinker. The nearest liquor store is 50 miles away. So you're looking at a 100-mile round trip. And then you buy more than you need because you don't want to make that trip again soon. And then you end up drinking that up because it's here. And just gave it up. Don't need it. It doesn't go along with the lifestyle I'm leading now. And I, I'll be healthier for not doing it. You know, I wasn't drinking every day, just mo mostly on the weekends. But it was enough. It was enough to matter. Number two, smoking. Talked about that. I quit smoking 12 years ago. I can breathe now. My lungs are normal. I will see people my age outside of a store or a restaurant. Well, I don't go there. Restaurants, that should be number 11. And I'll go up to them, and, I, and, and I'm not kidding you. Because I got the right to say it, I'm an ex-smoker, and I love I love seeing people skin crawl when I say stuff. I walk up to a 50 year old smoker or 60 year old smoker, and I go, "Man, ain't you a little old to be smoking?" And they just look at me; they they kind of don't know what I'm talking about. But you ain't figured it out yet. Gotta gotta say something smart, Alex. Alec, to them, you know. I like that. But yep. If you ain't give up smoking by the time you're 60, you might as well keep smoking. You might as well keep smoking because it's probably going to be too late. And in the, let's see, number one thing I have given up before age 60, probably the smartest thing, is relationships. <laughs> I ain't going there, man. Don't need another one. <laughs> you know what I mean, huh? <laughs> I ain't going to none of relationships. That's trouble. I ain't kidding you. My life is stress free. You can eliminate one of them. Without a relationship, you ain't got the stress. You don't need to smoke. You can quit drinking. Yeah, you don't You don't need to sit in front of the TV all the time. You don't need to do any of that. You don't need to go to the movies. Sports really was never in there. But you don't have to rely on others. So if you don't have a relationship, you don't really have to worry about the other nine. Traveling, especially. Man, every time I'm in a relationship, they got somebody getting married. You got to go to the weddings. And, oh, oh, it ain't for me. I know a lot of you are going to comment. You, oh, you just ain't been in the right one. Oh, well, maybe not. But I ain't going to waste any more time on it. I can't do it. It's just a different time that we are in today. Very few relationships last more than five years. And I'm, I'm just, at the point of my life, I'm not willing, I am not willing to even invest in it. Don't want no part of it. I got everything here that I need. I got my dogs. And when they pass away, I might get more dogs. I don't need them. Don't need any of that. So now you know the top ten things. 
that I quit before the age of 60. Happy trails.